It's Friday, 28th of October, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, His name has power in all three worlds. Our theme scripture is taken from Philippians 2, 9-10, and it says, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus Every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Hallelujah. If Jesus truly gave us the legal right, that is, the power of attorney to use his name, what results should we expect when we use his name? Pastor begins. What's so important about the name of Jesus? What does his name represent and why should we have so much confidence in the name of Jesus? We have the answer in our opening scripture. Notice the construction. It's absolute. It says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. That's a sovereign decree, a law in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. This sovereign decree is in force in heaven, in the earth, and under the earth, that is, in hell. His name has power in all three walls. That power applies to the things, that is, whatever exists in all three walls, whether they be thrones, governments, galaxies, principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, or in high places, they are all subject to his name. Glory to his name forever. This is remarkable. It explains why you should never be flustered by anything in life. It makes no difference what Satan and his course of hell are concocting. You can neutralize their efforts and overturn their works in the name of Jesus. Recall part of what we read in Philippians 2, 9-10. Of things under the earth. It means beings, things, or anything that exists in hell. Glory to God. Oh, no wonder Jesus told us to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, as you find in Matthew 10 verse 8. Even if a man went to hell, you could call him back, because the name of Jesus Christ has power in heaven, on earth, and in hell. Hallelujah, Pastor concludes. Dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Thank you, Father, for the glorious results I see when I use the name of Jesus. Today, Lord, your righteousness rules and reigns in the nations. Many are healed. Lepers are cleansed. The dead are raised, and there's a great harvest of souls into the kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right for further study. Please read Colossians 3, verse 17, Philippians 2, 9 to 10 of the WNT, and then Mark 16, 17 to 18 says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive 
eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. 